All right, we here. It's B and F podcast, man. We got a special guest with us today. Fever motherfucking D in the motherfucking building. Everybody hand clap for Fever D in the building. <laughs> I'm happy you, you came on the show. And we got my nigga Sin here from Brockton. You know, yeah. Brockton Fine is here. Um, Fever, I didn't think you was going to show up, but I'm happy you were here. You know, you're a superstar. We had to get food for you, the right liquor. Yeah, I know I love you know, <laughs> you had to email us what you wanted, you know what I'm saying? But I'm happy you're here with us. A Thank lot you. to talk about today, man. Um, R.I.P. to my man Chadwick Bozeman. That was an unexpected death. Um, 2019 was crazy. 2020 been kind of crazier. Um, how do y'all feel about his death? And that was kind of like a shocker to the world. Very, very sad. Very sad. I, don't, I had no idea he was even sick or... I seen I seen pictures of mm-hmm. him, but I thought he was preparing for like a mo- movie role or something. I didn't think that he was sick and had colon cancer. Mm. So it was very unexpected when I seen him die. But, you know, the beauty of it that he gave us Jackie Robinson before he died. Mm-hmm. He gave us, um, you know, Black Panther before he passed away. And these movies he made while he was... Um, diagnosed with colon right. cancer. So mm-hmm. it pretty much shows us no matter what we're going through, we still got to push through. Absolutely. The, the only thing I didn't like about it is that people were making fun of him. <gasps> that he was skinny and he lost weight. He was on the shade room and people were like ridiculing him, calling him like a crackhead or whatever. People thought he was on drugs, etc. So Ignorance. And wow, the strength to keep quiet through all of that when people are accusing you of being a crackhead. You know what okay. I mean? Like he's yeah. still. He like, stayed in pocket. Exactly. And his team stayed in pocket. Because mm, who's going to keep that secret? Like, you tell your man, yo, I just fucked this bitch and everybody know already. Like, they was <laughs> able to keep that within the team. That shows what type of circle he had. Yeah, but that's exactly. different. Like, cancer, fucking a bitch. It's like, damn. Yeah, that's, like, I'm, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> my man's face to me like, yo, I got AIDS. Back. I don't want you to t- I ain't going to tell you nobody. You be, but we... We know, but if you fuck Samantha, we knew Magic Johnson. We knew Magic Johnson was out of pocket. We knew Easy E was out of pocket. But we, they wanted us to know. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of stuff get leaked out of people's team. You always hear like we can't reveal the source, but something always comes out. I feel like the times that we live in now, how information is so accessible mm-hmm. for since 2016. Like four years to keep that in pocket, and he's a celebrity for nobody so to he know was that. Sick for four years. Yeah, he was diagnosed in 2016. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. But he wasn't that type of guy. Like, he wasn't, like, everywhere. I, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I don't even know homie's he name like that. Like, mm-hmm. I, he wasn't out there like that for anybody to be like, oh, what's going on with him? Like, if that's people true. talk shit, that's because they was on his dick. But that's it's true. like popping people. Because like, I didn't see he any was pictures like, of him skinny. Yeah, I didn't even know I don't he even was know. going through yeah, anything yeah. like that. But RIP to him. Um... And just the time we're going through, more black men are still being killed. Mm-hmm. Um, we're dealing with issues. How do y'all feel about election coming up? Um, are y'all voting? Absolutely. Yes. You're voting. And who you, do you mm-hmm. want to share that with the no. public, who you voting for? Mm-hmm. Me neither. Because I'm still debating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a buck. <laughs> like I be listening to my mom. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like, I'm yeah. not voting. Really? I'm not voting. So because you ain't trying to make the difference? Because your not, vote could be the difference. I'm not gonna vote for Biden because I dislike Trump. I don't like Biden either. You mm. know what I'm saying? I'm not a fan of Biden. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm not going to participate in something I don't believe in. Yeah, but I that's, don't believe that's, in either candidate. But do you, so it's like I'm, I'm, I'm voting seen, for the worst or two. But you've already seen what Trump has done, exactly. right? Do you agree with any of his policies? Uh, Besides a stimulus check? <laughs> honestly, <laughs> on, on, honestly, I'm not going to even like front. Trump, he, he does bring a radical ideology. It's, I feel like the world is more on edge racism is more out there people are comfortable being racist Mm -hmm. with trump in office you know it was more disguised before but i don't mind people being real we i felt like we needed this we knew what was america was about Mm -hmm. like niggas are getting shot on tv but do we need more of this thank you that's what you have to it's not about if i don't like this person i don't like this person this is like the evil that you already know you get it yeah so then it's like 
You're just letting it manifest. Right. Like, or get worse. <laughs> exactly. Just bubble. Did y'all see when um that footage of dude getting shot in his back seven times? Another Absolutely. black man, unarmed black man. Well, they mm-hmm. found a knife in the car. Oh, wow. Um, but he was still killed, and people still saying that hey, he was reaching for a knife. How did y'all feel about that when I y'all seen disgusting. those images? Yeah, his I kids was in the car, also. Oof, I didn't even know that. Yeah, his kids was in the car. I mean, it was just it's at a point in time where I don't even like, I don't even get it. I just don't get it. It's like okay, he was reaching for a knife, but homie, that white boy with the AK, whatever he was holding, AR-15. strolling down the street. Yep. And didn't nobody like, want to stop like him. They had plenty of opportunity to tackle him down before he even got to the car. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's like, oh, well, he was going. No. But there was a whole process before he even got to the car. Like, what happened to that? Yeah. What happened to beating him to the ground or something? What happened like, to like your rights? Beating him to the ground. <laughs> like, you're threatened. His back is turned. He's reaching in the car. Like, I don't get it. I, it's just, it's numbing. And this is what I I said this before my last podcast. This is why it's so important for black women to really treat their kings special. You know, suck some more dick because we really don't know. See, you can't just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because we really, because we really don't know if he's gonna return. (laughs) We don't. So our kings, we don't know when they leave home. So how about when I gotta return? I'm talking. See, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. We gotta redirect the attention on you. What I'm just talking about what, what black what black men go through in America. It's what crazy. Is black women do? too. Huh? What is that gonna do? It's it's. I'm just saying. It's a stressful day. It's a stressful day. Her, her name for is black what? Man. It's Breonna Taylor, right? Mm-hmm. Cause I didn't want to pronounce it wrong. Yeah. What about her? They're trying to insinuate she was on drug charges with her man, which gave them the. We must the protect right. our queens too. Exactly. That's all I wanted to know. We gotta protect our That's queens. That's all I wanted to know. But our our kings, we, <laughs> it's tough out here for us. We it's Absolutely. hard for us to find jobs. We are being discriminated against the police Me officers. Too. We gotta de- deal with niggas of our kind trying to kill us. Mm-hmm. We gotta deal with cops who's trying to kill us. We deserve a dick suck. We do but you, but from black from want, our but queens. You don't vote. Okay, I'll vote for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll vote for that. <laughs> I can't deal with you. I, I, I'm t- I'm telling you, and I and I said this before during these times right now. Black men in America, we cannot date outside our race. Absolutely. We have to stay in pocket. Touché. I used to be a dude out here fucking white girls in college. Those days are behind me. I'm strictly Every fucking with be. queens. You know what I'm saying? But queens do gotta get more head. Well, your queen might have to get some more head. Okay. Because... I, I don't have a queen, but what queen? <laughs> so when that's I do why you're speaking from the hot right now. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, I, think I think, like, take care of all. You know, no, I, I know my nigga ain't complaining. No, I, I know, I know, I know. Sin, you already put it out there how you get down. Well, you don't fuck around. But I feel like black, I feel like now sex is becoming more commercialized. Mm-hmm. Black women just started sucking dick probably in 2000 and like 15. <laughs> it's been, it's becoming cool. Like now you're starting to see it a little bit more. I feel yeah. like it's more socially acceptable. Yeah. And you know, I agree with that. Yeah, women, no, for women, real. you know. Because when I was growing I up in like, high school, everybody was like, I don't know. <laughs> "Girl, you suck dick." <laughs> I graduated and started sucking dick. I didn't suck dick yeah. in high school. <laughs> I'm telling you, if that's what's gonna <laughs> keep that, that's what's gonna keep the relationship healthy. And on a serious note. We must protect our kings. I'm telling you, we go through a lot of bullshit in these streets, man. I'm telling you. And we don't want to come home and got to hear the bullshit sometimes, you know? Sounds personal. <laughs> it's, it's not it personal. personal. I'm just advocating for the black brothers out here. I mean, some. I don't have no issues in my relationships. You know what I see I when I no think t- women get yeah, out of pocket? My entanglement to popping. <laughs> She's crazy. What, what, what she <laughs> her entanglement right means a pop. <laughs> you know what I seen when women get really out of order and out of pocket. I was watching um, VH1. I only seen the clip online. I seen Tahiri and Vado Ooh. Mm-hmm. get into an uh, an argument. She calls him broke on national TV. Mm. Um, disrespects him, you know. And I think another scene I seen him choking her out. Mm. Mm. 
So how do y'all feel about her calling him broke? And how do y'all feel about abusive relationships in general? I feel like if I can't respect my man, I'm not going to get in a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. If I have no respect for you in the beginning, it ain't going to go nowhere. So it's like I would never go there with my man. It would have never escalated to you getting hemmed up. It ain't going to go either way. You know, I mean, you can't you you don't know what's really going to happen, but. I Have just, you ever been in a relationship where you was the breadwinner and you dealt with somebody who was not and you was the one doing everything and you felt like you yes. could say that? Um, no, I I still would. I still had a, some form of respect, even though I was the breadwinner and I was doing all that. I still had some form of respect. I think that's what it's all about. Me and my man had a conversation the other day and it's all about respect and relationships. And I feel like it's I'm not saying it's hard to date women who are more successful than you. But sometimes women do get disrespectful, and I feel like women know how to hurt men. I feel, I, like, I feel like they know where to get you where it hurts and where to get you out of character. So I felt like she knew by calling Votto broke, she knew he would feel that. she threw an apple at it's his not, face. It's not beneficial to date down regardless in any way on the women's side or on the male side. But, but men are willing to deal with more than we are. I honestly feel well, like Well, as that. far as like the man dating, the man dating down, yes. But when the woman dates down, it doesn't benefit the male or the female yeah. in the relationship. The male gets insecure. He feels less of himself and all that shit. And then the woman, sometimes women, like you said, they just get too aggressive or they feel like they have more control more or they lose respect for the man. So mm-hmm. it's like... But some women do like to build niggas, just like how some niggas like to I build to women. Oh, used to be a builder. Oh, yeah, beer. I used to be a builder. Used to build too. niggas I up. I never do that again in my life. Never. Mm. I used to be that. I way. used to like. What's your sign? I like the potential. Like I like to see when I see the growth and like the potential in someone, and I'm like, I like to show you what, what <coughs> you don't see in yourself. So you see a nigga and you're like, wow, like I can get you a job somewhere. Nah, not seeing him. It's more than just seeing him. <laughs> <Shoot me. laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you can fix a nigga up. I don't just see a person and be like, oh, yeah, he's a fixer-upper. Yeah, like, nah. yeah. It has to be, like, conversation and other shit, and then I'm like, hmm. You're willing to accept little shit that might come with him. Yeah, I'm not doing that no more, ever. What about you, Sin? <laughs> um, I feel her. I was a builder-upper, too. Like, um, I'll see a nigga, you know, fine as fuck, fucks the shit out of me. <laughs> we have good chemistry, and then it's like little by little, little shit to start ticking in. Like, right, I'm gonna help you with this. Oh no, I got this. Oh no, I got that. Oh no, my credit's popping. I'll do this. Then it's like, after a couple of years, it's like, all right, what the fuck did I just build? I didn't build really shit. I, mm-hmm. built, <laughs> I built myself mm-hmm. and a nigga just to help me hold it together. Like, I just, I, yeah, I can't do it. When you're built, when you're doing that, you're, you're taking time away from yourself exactly. as well. And then in the end, it's like, it's not appreciated. At all. Because um, you built you... that nigga for another bitch. True. <laughs> and, and sometimes vice versa. No, some, you build them and they just still be the fucking same. Sometimes. Touche. And I think, I feel like with women, it's different. I feel like sometimes, like, you could be in a relationship with somebody and, um, you can try to coach them up. You can try to be Doc Rivers and, they, and they're not listening. You know what I'm saying? A bitch... A bitch won't cook for you. Get into a new relationship. You see, you see this bitch with a robe on Instagram. She's cooking. She got dishes. I feel like females for the right nigga, they're gonna be whatever they, they want to be. Yeah, it's same thing for same thing with vice versa. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Some things, sometimes people bring certain things out of you. Like even with sex, like you can't. Ooh. Some people talk you, about it. You can be with a person for ten years and they haven't even seen your I, freaky yourself. Okay. I still haven't met a bitch to make me have sex in the morning. Oh, you didn't know that. I hate morning either. sex. Me too. Ugh. Why? I just don't. It's just stupid. Damn. I really? Fever. Like, keep talking. Fever. You, and you don't have to build me up. I'm building myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hate morning sex. I hate it. It, it, it pisses Why? me off. It's too bright. It's just. It's, it's not too intimate. early. I like intimacy. Yeah. It's too early. I'm still just no. I don't like it. I, my problem. With morning, I like morning head. That's awkward. <laughs> like. Like, I feel I, like it's a day ender, not a day starter. Like, I, so you would have slept in the morning? Like, babe, come on, just. Yeah. I mean, I would if yeah. that's what he wanted, but I don't, I don't like, prefer it. It's not like I'd rather 
do it at night. You gotta top it yeah, off in the morning. I, I, honestly, like I'm the reason why I <laughs> top like of the morning. The reason why I like morning. The reason why I don't like morning sex is one because. <laughs> I be super hard in the morning for no reason. That's so you gotta one go thing. take that piss first. Yeah, I be super hard in the morning, and I don't even want to fuck. So like, I mean, I don't care if the nigga wants it. All right, whatever, let's get it. But I'm not waking like your up. Your preference, no, your, yeah, like yeah. If he wants, you're gonna do what you, you know, whatever. Exactly. But, but I'm not waking up. Preference. Like, some breakfast in bed. Just make me some breakfast. Let's eat. Let's I don't. Eat I also don't like having sex after I eat. That's too much. You like full yeah. and shit, and then it's no, yeah, that's no. Too much. Yo, I like to have sex. We got fever. We got the same sex drive. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, I'm fucking with you heavy. I'm fucking with you heavy because now, now we have women like popping perks now. Mm. So their sex drive now is through the roof. Yeah, I'm all set. You know what I'm saying? So it's like now I gotta match your energy. Now I'm gonna have to pop a five or maybe a <laughs> ten or something like that just to stay active. Like I said, have you ever done that before? Though? No, absolutely not. Oh. Like I'm not, I'm not into pills and stuff like that. I'm, it takes me like, <laughs> nah, nah, like. I had to take a pill before, but it's for something else. You know what I'm saying? It's like a Viagra. No, nah, not a Viagra. This is <laughs> like, just what? like... She tried to do it. <laughs> nah, nah, not a Viagra pill. Like, you know, trying to recover after some situation. Okay, okay. But anyways, I don't like swallowing pills, so pills never been for me. You mm. know what I'm saying? You're going to get whatever oh, my, type of dick I person. give you. I'm going to give you... Ew, really? that's what I'm telling you. I'm going to give you whatever... Fr- take I whatever I dick like I give you. 10 minutes to swallow a fucking pill. I can't lie. I done popped a perk or two, three. Um, <laughs> hey... Rockstar lifestyle. Like. But I'm saying like sex now is different. It's like people more like I said, sex is commercialized. People are talking about it more, and people are spitting each other's mouths. People are doing oh, all these my things. God, I like it, 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 it's it's. I'm just a basic fucker. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Not a basic fucker. Yeah. I don't like basic fucking. It's stupid. What's what's I'm basic fucking intimate. though? I need mm. like movie sex. Yes, like, passionate. People think that doesn't what, exist. What what what, like, what year is, what year we're talking about? Because now we're it's talking like. We're talking about belly. We're talking a shanty like Keisha and, and buns. Uh, which McCall seemed like yeah, like what they was about to get into. With the I was thinking more that was Keisha definitely some buns. spitting in mouth vibes, though. Mm-hmm. Definitely um, spit. They biting on each other's tongue. That's very good. aggressive. On the tongues is good. Spitting in the mouth. So you wouldn't get not. spit in your mouth. Fuck. No, I will, I will throw up. You want? If you want to throw up? <laughs> it's like I will. I, don't know, I like that I don't, shit. It, I can't. Mm-mm. My mind can't. I can't process that. <laughs> Do not spit in my fucking mouth. Is if we live in different times. Um, speaking of what we were just talking about with um, Vado putting his hands on women, have y'all ever experienced any abuse in relationships? Yeah, I used to. I used to kind of be like the first person to hit. Word. I'm aggressive. Like when I get really angry, I'm really patient. So when I get really angry, I'm just like. I can be violent. I'm more of a violent mouth. Like, I have a crazy mouth. So like, I've been hit back. <laughs> you fag, okay. faggot ass nigga, you a bitch. <laughs> That's why your phone don't ring. Like, like I said, like, women know how to trigger certain points yeah. in men to the make them react. To See, make them react. Maybe that's what it is with me. Like, I'm not much of a, like, like, I'm not, like, when I'm angry, I don't get words. Like, words don't hands come to on. me. I just want to, yeah. It's mm-hmm. like, I'm more hands on. Why do you think women stay with in relationships that are abusive? The after sex? Honestly, that's what I think. I swear, like, yo, I could beef with my ex. Like, beef. like I said abusive. Not just dysfunctional. I'm talking about abusive relationships. A lot of women, I think a lot of women don't even realize they're in a behavior. Yeah. No, for real. For a man to, for them to get mad at me and put a hand on you, they think it's normal. I think some people are in love and being in dysfunctional relationships. I think people find love in that. They don't feel loved unless it's physical. And it's yeah. a lot of trauma, too. Like, imagine you're raised in an environment where you're used to that. You're used to your pops and your mom's beefing all the time. And then mm-hmm. when you come find love as a grown woman, that's what you find. That's what you're used to. You can't really... You don't know nothing else. And even when people try to come at you like, oh, yo, you're bugging. Why are you fucking with this nigga? He puts his hands on you. You're kind of stuck. Especially if you've been in this shit for a couple years, like... A nigga could whoop your ass a thousand times and it's like he comes back the next day like, baby, I'm sorry. I was high. I I love you. Like that. That should be toxic, dude. It'd be like imbalancing. Like, I don't know. But that's not love, though. That's that's not not real love. You can't. But it takes you time to learn that. Like, I'm only 26. 
Like, a lot of people don't experience, like, if you don't experience real love from, like, growing up or anything like yes. that, or you don't know what it is. You don't know how to, you don't know the difference. So. And, like, like you said, you don't know the difference. So and that's, how, and that's why I feel like women, the nicer you treat them sometimes, if they're used to abuse, women go to, go to what they're accustomed to. Mm -hmm. So you can treat a woman fairly well and she's looking at you like a lame ass nigga like she just ain't for you why yes. would you want that that's that's a broken person yes you're gonna have to do a lot of work to fix that but we're built we used to be builders so some people like to build this is interesting stuff because i feel like a lot of females are broken and i feel like a lot, a lot of definitely. i feel like toxic relationship is becoming a thing mm. like um, we're we're normalizing being in a toxic relationship I don't think it's normalizing. Mm -hmm. I, I think, think it's, it's just been a thing. Yeah, thank you. I can see the turn. I've been doing this. I shit. think it's like, been a thing before. I think it was more <laughs> of a thing than, than it is now. Because yeah. it's more awareness now. Like people know, like okay, this is wrong. Like you can get information. Before it was like, this is. Can we blame women for being in toxic relationships, even though they complain about it? Can we blame women for staying for a dude for three years, as giving them black I eyes? Don't know blame. I mean, we could play the blame blame. game all day. I don't know if blame is the correct word. Yeah. Uh -oh. Cause we could play the blame game all day, like. But why would a woman stay? Why would a female stay in a relationship for that long? The comfortability, yo. Mm. If you're with, like, uh, you if, guys are educating me because I, I want to no know. She might not know no better, or she might not feel like she can find love. She might just be settling for what she feels like she can, she can find. Yeah, you know what I mean. I agree with that too, but I also feel like it's comfortability, like. A Ain't nigga. nothing comfortable about getting punched in the fucking eye. Yeah, there's nothing comfortable yeah, according about According to sin, she gets horny after. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying because I have been in that situation, honestly, like where I felt like me and the nigga really just used to beef off the strength of like I had a crazy mouth. I was in the streets. I was doing my one too. So he didn't like that. So it was my fault. So I was brainwashing myself like, bitch, you're the problem. You're the problem. So it took me a while to step out of my box and be like, no, he's the problem. Like, if he can't accept you for who you are, you need to get the fuck no, out of he here. No, if can't deal with your mouth, then he should just leave. Exactly. If he, if he can't eat. accept you for who you are, then nigga, we, we, what are we doing here? Like, if he knows you're toxic, like, if, with the shit you saying to him, is not... But he didn't want to leave, so it was, like... Imagine a nigga pulling up to your crib at 4 in the morning, like, bitch, where you going? That's that toxic shit. It's you like, know? where am I going? We live with each other. <laughs> My clothes are here, everything. And Fever, you never really been in those type of relationships. Because you out here building niggas up, and niggas really I mean, got to stay in pocket fucking I, with you, because you got your own that. bag. It's just more so, like... I'm not gonna say I never. I've been in situations where I've been like I fought, like yeah. I've fought in plenty of relationships. You, but, it seems like it's tough dating a girl like you because you are popping out here. You like the Carmelo Anthony of bad bitches in Boston. I can't with him. And what I mean by Carmelo Anthony, every time somebody think like, okay, she's past her prime and she's finished, you drop 40 on bitches. You pop up with a few Birkins on hoes. You're on the boat. You're doing thing like so. How like for a man, I think it would be hard for you to date a man that's really not on in your level, not in your category. Yeah, it is. Knowing hard. that he can't, but like he's going to stores and like, damn, I can't. <laughs> you know, I can't get my baby this. I would like that, but I can't. So, have you ever gotten a gift from a guy who's not really in your bracket and not like the gift, but still got to accept it because you know this is what it is? No, I'm not really materialistic like, at all. Wow, that's hard yeah. to believe. I'm really not at all. Um, I've never gotten a gift that I didn't like. No. Mm -mm. Every gift I've ever gotten, I've loved. We're going to talk more after the show. <laughs> <laughs> we really are. Like, right. you're the, like, you're the first guest. We're very compatible. You know, <laughs> so like, um, <laughs> I'm, tell, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So, you know what's crazy? Speaking of Birkin bags. 2020 is crazy the pandemic been crazy we see a lot of tricking going on and as females how do y'all differentiate like how do y'all separate the fact that a lot of these niggas are created players we see a lot of new niggas out here with a bag mm -hmm. niggas 10 years ago 15 years ago we, we never heard of these niggas all of a sudden sba you know of unemployed PUA, all this shit. These niggas are lit now. They buying bitches bags. They doing a lot of shit. So are they real though? 
Oh, uh, what? Because not everybody can get a Birkin. No, they're real. I'm saying there's a lot of money flowing around. Mm-hmm. You've been Absolutely. in the game for a long time, mm-hmm. and you know who is who. I would hope so. So how? You know, what do you do when niggas are trying to get at you and you see these creative plays coming at you? Do you give them a chance? No, I'm hard to get to. I just, it's different with me. It's hard to get you on this fucking interview. I can't can't just see a person and be like, oh, I want him. I like him. It has to be more. Like, I need to speak to you. I need to know, like, how your brain works. Mm. It's not just a visual Mm -hmm. thing for me. Like You want to break down a nigga. mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not a visual thing for me at all. And it's definitely not a money thing. Because you got your own bag. So. Sin, how do you... You just don't give a fuck. What? PUA, SBA, bring it on. I don't even know these niggas. Keep it a buck with you. Um, I'm, I like having fun. So it don't even matter. Even if they don't got it, you still gonna give a nigga a shot. It depends. It depends. I, I won't give a... A dude it depends. A shot that doesn't have it because of I know what that's gonna lead to. He it, can't. He, he he won't be able to handle it. Period. So it's like everybody always like, oh you like I've had people in my DM like oh no you don't talk to regular guys. The reason why I won't talk to that person is because they call themselves a regular guy. Why are you talk? Why are you referring to yourself as a regular guy? What makes you so regular? Like if you're thinking of yourself like that, that shows me that you have low self esteem. You cannot fuck with me if you have low self esteem. It's never gonna work. You you ain't gonna make it past the door. It's too much that comes with me. You cannot. I cannot date a man with low self esteem. Seems like you need big dick energy in your life. <laughs> That's yeah. That makes sense. I mean, like I said, me personally, I ain't really looking for shit. Like, I don't know. Like she said, if somebody kicks it and we have good convo and we're kicking it, then that's what it is. Like she said, a lot of niggas be sitting there think they gotta have jewels. They gotta be dripped down. Like nah. I'm you just gotta be wise. yourself, pretty much. Yeah, Basically. I'm personality wise. I, nigga, tell me, let's go rock climbing. I'll be mad turned on. Like, why are this nigga mm-hmm. trying to go rock climbing, right. bro? Right. Don't tell me we're about to go to roof, Chris. I've been there a thousand times. Like, mm. let's go rock climbing. Let's go canoeing. Like, let's go mm-hmm. fishing. Yeah, let's do something different. Like, and but that's I how I look at it. Broke. I can't date broke. You can't date broke niggas, but they say um, broke niggas give the best dick. Is that why you should call being a? <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm, listen, listen. I started, I started off giving broke nigga dick when I started the podcast. Mm, so that's I'm not. After you started getting money, you. I'm not. I'm, I used to be an Olympic fucker. Three rounds, all that shit. All that shit is overrated. No perk. I'm not. Nah, I'm not giving that type I feel of dick like my out. My husband has to be like he has like. Have like has to be like fucked mad bitches like all over the place all the time everywhere that he's he bored me, that he just knows like that bitch is not worth it that bitch is, mm, I know what that feels like I know what that's gonna be like so it's just but why like, wouldn't you date a broke nigga even if, what about if he's a good uh, guy he has great personality because he that's won't be able rhetorical. to handle it he, it just I don't who wants what's broke these money? days anyway like what are we calling broke these days you don't days? have a house you don't have a car you have no credit. You are not helping me build in any way that I can build myself. That is broke. I feel like Schedule broke is one? to me. Okay, so I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't consider anybody broke who has it. Like, if you have a job and you can maintain your lifestyle, whatever, that's not broke. I don't like, think you, you need a house. You need. Like most people can, you know, you don't necessarily need a house. Not everybody wants to own a house. Yeah. And I mean a house like either renting out an apartment, whatever. You, you don't have a dwelling. If I have to go past your mother. In the morning, yes. like come on, like yeah. that's kind of oh I don't my mama live with me like no she don't you live with her. <laughs> I'm a I'm a mom live with me ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and that might be cool if y'all are in a one family house, but you if you are on fucking one of these streets and you're in a three story apartment, <laughs> nigga, you live with your mother. This is her house. You have the Harry Potter serious. closet for a room. Like so, so we so we're not really doing that these days. So we're not dating niggas who still living with their mom dukes and stuff like that. So we're not dating broke niggas in two thousand twenty. My man has to make like at least twice as much as I do. At least I respect it. I don't make I I make a little something. I don't make that much. I don't make that much. But (laughs) but how is it for you dating? Um, for you dating these days? I know you was in a publicized relationship. You dated (laughs) Troy Ave. Um, how was that dating an industry guy? 
I will not. I probably won't do it again. Mm. Why is that? <sighs> because I did it once, and I just don't care to do it again. Mm. And how did you deal with dealing with Troy Ave with all the backlash and allegations of him being a rat and all that? How did you deal with him during those times? Um, I mean, we really I didn't really pay no attention to it. Like I I I had my own um feelings towards the situation, you know what I mean? And Did that affect your relationship? No. Not at all. Nope. So my whole thing to you is I feel like Troy Ave, I was a Troy Ave fan. Like I mm-hmm. thought Troy Ave could rap. I thought he had a lot of skills. You know, he had the cocky in him and stuff like that. Is he like that in real life, real like cocky into I, himself? I used to always tell people I felt like he should show people more of who he not. So you know the real face. him. Right, there you go. Okay, so you've seen a different side of um Absolutely. Troy Ave that we didn't get to see, but the public side of Troy Ave that I seen who's real cocky, real ignorant, stuff like that, mm-hmm. and he got into the situation that he got into. Mm-hmm. I don't like the way he handled that situation. Felt like he was doing a little bit too much talking and now he tried to run away from the street shit. Now he's trying to say the street shit's not real and all that. I really didn't appreciate that. What would you and, do if you was in this situation? I'm not telling. Period. So and I think Fever. And I honestly, yes, you have to. You have to. And I think Fever, he didn't deserve that pussy. I, I, I honestly I honestly believe that. And I'm a t- I wanted you here so I can tell you that. <laughs> Troy Ab did not deserve to fuck you. Oh, I'm sorry. Lord. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I'll I, drink to that. <laughs> I'm just, we'll drink to that. We you know we'll drink to that. But yes, and um, yeah, I'm not doing that. Like we're not talking about jail time and stuff like that. We get we all get into certain situations, and this is what comes. You know what I'm saying? The circumstances is what it is. Niggas rapped about that lifestyle, and that shit ended up being his reality. And when it became his reality, he wanted to try to rap out of it and say the street shit is fake. Like mm. niggas died. This shit is real. So it is what it is. You know. Touché. But if that's one unfuck you could do, I would, you know. But moving on, <laughs> you know, moving on. But um, how do y'all feel about Meg handling her situation after getting shot by Troya? I mean, Tory Lane. <laughs> 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 <Let's see. laughs> I don't know if he sh- if Tory Lane shot her. He shot her. Uh, he definitely we shot her. We don't know that. I mean, she's not in the street, so I don't I don't believe, yeah. I don't believe yeah. she's a snitch. Because nah, I don't believe that. People's yeah. calling people was calling Megan a snitch. I don't believe she was in a court of law. I'm gonna need some surveillance to prove that Tory Lane shot allegedly. You. Okay, allegedly, right? I'm gonna need some. All I got is footage of you hopping out the car. Yep. I'm gonna need some footage of you getting shot. Allegedly, but when she's saying. When you want to indict my well, nigga. Hold on. But she's saying, but she's saying, going off what she's saying, she's saying he shot her. Feel me? Like, you, you know ain't what I'm just going to indict my so, man. So, off, off that, off what she's saying, allegedly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She is six foot one. He is five three. That don't mean absolutely shit. What that happened? That nigga shot her. Uh, what happened? He shot her in the back of the goddamn foot. Uh, when she was walking away. Do y'all think that... Um, you was there for you? <laughs> well, shot her. Do, do y'all think Tory? If, 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 <laughs> you 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 a big Tory fan? Why would she you say hear his song? Why don't you love me? What's that? No. It's done. just his. Mu- I don't know. I fuck with Tory. You gotta heavy. separate the music from the from person. person. Touche. All right, you got that. You gotta do the same. Separate. So you so you think R. Kelly didn't fuck little girls either, huh? All them niggas was fucking little girls. Thank you listen to those songs from back, um, back then? They was all fucking little girls. Um, first they, of all, they, they, they why are your parents it? sudden you go to a grown man's studio talking about, yeah, take my daughter? Well, some of the girls was sneaking out. They were saying they was going to school. They was actually going to his house. You know, I mean, I have children, so I know them motherfuckers could be sneaky. Too shy. So you can't, I mean, you can only be there when you can be there. And mm. they will find a way. a way. You know, when you was a kid, you found a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, she my knows. mother was Cape Verde, and she had a low jack on me some way, somehow. Shorty always so, found me. So, we but can't. You, you found your way still. Yeah. She found you after. So Even though we want to, we got to be able to separate the talent from the person. So, Tori allegedly he shot Meg. 
do you think Meg handled that situation the right way, the way she was speaking publicly about the situation? I think, you know, at first she wasn't saying anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then she got tired of people just voicing their opinions and, and making her look back and dragging her name and making fun of her, which wasn't cool, you know? And she just decided to speak up. But I feel like if you wasn't going to speak up in the beginning, maybe you should have just kept quiet through the whole thing. I felt like she should have kept quiet. Yeah. I'm not calling her a snitch. I'm not calling her a snitch She's either. a victim. She, she got she, shot. She is a celebrity, and I think she's just now getting used to it. So she probably should have kept quiet because that's what comes with it. And you got to learn how to deal with that and not be able to, you know, not speak on everything. Especially something like that. Because she could have fucked up the court case by yeah, just talking. Yeah, you know by talk I mean? yeah. she was so doing she, too much you know, talking. Exactly. So... For that reason. And how do y'all feel about Tory, though? You know, people want to ban Tory, silence Tory. How do y'all feel about that? Do y'all think that he should be, like, he's finished? Do you think his career is, is you know, finished after this? I mean, I think it's finished, but everybody has their fans. Was Takashi's career finished? I think Takashi's about out of here. Is he? Yeah, I, mean, I think so. Because his song that he's he just not, let out with Nicki Minaj. I think he's still going to make money, but he's finished, but he's still going to make money. Yeah. That's he is a, he is a talented dude. I don't think Takashi's talented. talented. Who? Me t t who? I'm not talking about Takashi. I'm talking about Lanes. Tory? Yeah, I think oh, Tory yeah. Lanes is talented. talented. So I think like, with his talent. Still have no, his he's talent. Oh, you though. think Tory's is Tory's finished? Tory's done. Takashi's not sad, but you know it's how it goes. Mm. So, so, Tory's definitely. I think done. Only Tory was almost tell. done anyways, and then he had the little shit that he had going on with the live. Yeah. And it yeah, kind of brought him back to life, and then he fucked everything up. Like, why would you do that? Why would you shoot a bitch? And Short fuck man syndrome. Do you think? Do you think the niggas was fucking? Do you think Tori and that's really disturbing to me to this picture that Why? I don't know, I because she's so fucking tall? big. She's so fucking. So like, how, how do you, you feel about a tall guy fuck, fucking a short girl? That's different because wow. she can sit on him like. And just he can handle her, but like, mm. how do you do it the other way around? I don't get it. Back shot, I, you, you know, sometimes like Put her knees on the ground, lay her <laughs> stomach on the bed, <laughs> and you're just the same size. <laughs> depends on the bed. It definitely depends on the depends bed. Depends on the bed because he might not be able to reach because it's like you know. She is a big For girl. Sure, niggas she be is a big girl. Some... I fucked a short nigga before. <laughs> and it, it was a surprise for you. It was a surprise. I was surprised. I was like, "Hold on, this nigga around right, huh? Were you on the perk that time or no? no? It was sober. Mm. Mm. It was sober. You know, like when girls date certain industry niggas, mm -hmm. I always feel like certain niggas that they fuck. I'd be like, I have a chance. Like mm. Meg, like. Really, Meg? Like, where you at in the game? I you fucking you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, that's why I felt like I, I had a chance I'm with you when I seen you with Troy. I'm like, Lord have mercy. I yo, I got a shot. I knew he was gonna. Say no, I, I, I honestly felt like I had a shot with you. I'm like, she's dating him. I like broke my industry streak with him too, so that was like the fucked up part. Cause it's like I had obviously opportunities to do other things, and I just chose not to. And he was like, he was like, what? The like the first yeah, but that gave me confidence. I'm not mad at you dating him. I'm just saying that's like okay, <laughs> like you know I can, I'm think I'm a little a step higher than him. You know I, <laughs> you know I think you know I might have a shot. We'll talk more after the show, but definitely, <laughs> and I'm not gonna tell on nobody. Believe me, I'm gonna stay in pocket. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you know <laughs> I need some more drink. Nah, <laughs> pour, pour up, man. You know, uh, shout out to Neighborhood Kitchen again, man, for hooking niggas up. Eighty four Sp Spring Street. Good. What kind of chicken is that? I don't know what type of chicken it is. Jerk? No, that wasn't jerk. Nah, it wasn't. But it was some good wings. That's Shout out to nasty. Neighborhood Kitchen. It's in Medford, <laughs> neighbor um, 84, 84 Spring Street. Giving y'all a shout out, Neighborhood Kitchen I again, man. Definitely appreciate y'all for coming through and delivering that food for us. Um, Fever, tell us what you got going on. Um, thank you for dropping me off some um, La Trap Couture. Am I saying it right? Yes, you Couture. Are. Um, Got my hoodie. Um, tell me what you got going on. I am working on opening up a store, so that's what my main focus is right now. I am constantly putting out designs. I'm a one woman show, so mm -hmm. you know, people gotta be patient sometimes, but really, I'm just focused on that. I, I did have a daycare, as some people may know, but I closed it down so that I can fully focus and put my full energy into like the brand. 
Okay. So I'm going on tour with the brand soon. Mm-hmm. That's then, dope. Yep. Anything else besides that? Nope. Do you want to advertise anything else that you got going on? Just keep it strictly with the closing. Just, um, fully tunnel vision with the brand. Focus. You, you know have what? a website? I do. Okay. It's www.latrapcouture.com. Uh -huh. You know what I wanted to ask y'all about? Um, I seen that Future one, his um, child support case. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my nigga Future. That was hilarious. Yes. yes. Um, she won it. I believe I think she won it 53000 She sounds that. fucking stupid. A month. A month. Um, Future ended up only, <laughs> only having to pay... <laughs> Um, thirty two hundred a month. That's just really childish. Um, you so, think that's not enough? How do y'all feel about? Women? I, I only think it's not enough because they said he made thirty k. Come Touché, on, Touché, the Touché. fuck, nigga? You know you don't make that. Nigga, I ain't got no kids, so. Okay. So you think it's thirty two hundred is not enough for a child? It depends. You know how much private school costs? <laughs> My son's private school is fifty three thousand a year. <laughs> I must be a smart so man. Is? He's very smart. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. And how much is this? How, how, oh, it's 53000 The books is $800. Mm. Food, clothes, he eats like a motherfucker. <laughs> you know? But don't you think that sometimes women do over-exaggerate sometimes? And Absolutely. What she was asking for in the beginning, that's, that's the only reason why I would say right now that... Um, you know what I mean? Like, she got what she kind of deserved in a sense because she overdid it. Yeah. 54... What fifty four thousand dollars a month? That's, what? I remember when Fifty Cent, um, baby mother back in the day, tried to get through, and cause she seen him hit that big deal after the vitamin water went up, mm -hmm. and she tried to renegotiate her child support. She was art. She was getting like thirty bands a month, and then she went to court, lost, and he ended up paying like I think five to ten thousand. She for her being greedy, she I lost. just hate that it always has to get to that point, like. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, I understand in certain situations like future and homegirl because I don't think they was an item or in a relationship. Yeah. So that's something different. But like when you have a, a relationship with someone, I don't know why it always has to go to court. Like why can't you have an understanding? Like who are you laying down with? What kind of women or like what kind of situation, what kind of man is not going to just willingly say, you know, we I know that this costs this. I know that he needs this. And you want to kind of maintain some type of um stability between the two households you don't want him coming from a mansion going to the fucking projects mm -hmm. that's too shell shocking so they so when people be like oh she don't need that much yeah but you have to kind of be able to like Adjust. give a little bit of balance i'm not saying he has to live like 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 future lives or live like whomever the guy may be that's rich but you kind of have to give your kid still has to go home and be able to feel like but it's let's not such let's not let's let's not act like these women who get these checks spend all this money on the child either. I mean, it depends. Like you lay down with this female that you felt like wasn't gonna have your child's best interest at heart. Sometimes taking care of the mother means taking care of the child. Yeah. Hmm. If the if the child lives in her house, then you have to make sure yeah, the mother that is living cool. Five bands a month. I need that five bands if. I'm rocking Shanene, like Cardi said. My baby's gonna be rocking Shanene, so you gotta break us off. So you believe that a man that you have a kid with, if he is successful, financially successful, he should be taking care of you and the child because no, you're the mother of his child. Absolutely not, because I'm not gonna say that. And then I feel like if I'm, I don't. I think that he should take care of her if it affects the child. Yes. If it doesn't so as directly, as like she don't live. need the new Chanel bag. She don't need okay. A, a, like but she needs a top nice notch home. whip and all that shit. But she needs a nice dwelling for her child to rest his head because you don't like I said you don't want coming from a mansion to the fucking projects. You know you. It but has he to could. Be. He's always gonna get the mansion because when I have him on the weekends, he is gonna be over my house. Yeah, that's true. But that's being that's that sounds like a person being selfish because now you're sending your child. You're thinking about yourself. That's a selfish man because now you're sending your child to something that's Understood. less. You want him to live good both ways. And if, if it takes for you to put your pride aside for that baby's mother to live a little good because your child's living good, that's what you got to do. Don't you think there's like a double standard, though? No. I feel like women, when it comes to the court system and, and, and fighting for joint custody and 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 child support, it it always sways towards the women's way. Not but, anymore. I've seen mm -hmm. a lot of men get kissed custody of their mm -hmm. men. The women don't win no definitely. more. It definitely has changed. I've seen mm. a lot of 
it Men definitely has changed. Kids. If you if you are doing the right things as a man, there should be no reason why you, you know, men don't want to fight for this it. This is That's why I advocate co parenting, where I just want to meet somebody, and I think Fever, I think we can pull this off, <laughs> where we're just. We have a bond. We have an understanding. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We already know we ain't fucking in the morning. We're just going <laughs> to get this nigga ready for school. You know what I'm saying? So you want an understanding and you want a partnership where it's all about just raising our kid. Let's have this beautiful, you know, girl, boy. And that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't have to get involved. I'm not going to be <laughs> mad. I'm going to make sure you got the nice car. Make sure you situated and all that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to keep it respectful, though. Yeah, that's and that's what, what it's mean. about. I feel like a lot of these custody battles don't really be about the kid. It's really like a back and forth between the old girl and dude, and it's a lot of like animosity. And, and a lot spiteful. of times they always put it on the women. Like they always think the women is the cause of the She's disgruntledness, the but exactly. But it be the men sometimes too. Like it really be the men. Like if a woman choose to no leave, other nigga, I ain't paying no rent. Another niggas up in my crib, like. It, It'd be like that, but I, I, I do feel them, though. I feel like if I am paying your rent, you know, fuck that nigga in the telly or something. Like, nah, I'm not paying nah. rent for you to be bringing... If that's your boyfriend, My understand, man, I'm keep not. it respectful. But we're not going to have okay. different men coming through that, the that, crib. That goes without saying, though. Okay. That's I mean, not true. I, I Women do be violating. I can see why a man would be uncomfortable paying the bills with another man there. that's tacky like a man yeah. should um, the man that's there shouldn't even feel comfortable allowing that to happen but if you have a child with that woman and you're paying her you don't have to specify that it's for the rent you're just giving her a certain amount of money and she's gonna do what she needs to do and you shouldn't sleep with a bitch that you feel like ain't gonna do the right shit with your money like why y'all fucking these bitches and getting them pregnant nothing in them and all types of craziness like you know what the fuck are you don't what, what are y'all doing uh, one topic I want to bring to y'all before we get off the air, we was talking about it um, off the air, is Drake and Future being the same type of niggas, um, just going about Can't the same see. shit different ways. I don't agree. They're different. They are different. Dude, they're different, bro. I think their strategy is different. I listen to Future when I want to cheat on my nigga. I listen to Drake when I'm feeling bad. Like I still think Drake is a toxic nigga. I think Drake makes women feel beautiful about themselves mm -hmm. confident about themselves but that and then he that leaves them and writes a song about leaves them, them like, is he in and a gives them a shout out or is he just fucking yeah is it a situation or i think i think drake treats every female the same like good or bad it ends i can't say it ends bad but it all ends the same way but i think that he treats them well you know he date them he'll court them and he fucks them and he leaves them. How do you what know? That? How do you and know? Future, he, how Future do you know does he the leaves same them? Thing, how do you know he leaves them? I have a I have a person that I know, right, who was fucking Drake, and she was like she could never date him or take him serious because he's too he's soft. So too much of a nice guy. Yes. So therefore, it's not always. Don't let these niggas fool you. These mm -hmm. niggas are not always leaving these bitches. These bitches be sometimes leaving these niggas. Telling you, but there's there's me. certain niggas who don't want bitches to leave, and that strokes their ego. Even if they like a, a, a dude might not want a female to leave him because of his ego. Of course, even if he don't that's, like, not really gonna take the girl serious, but he's trying comes, to keep that's his females that in don't want to give their baby child support because they piss because <laughs> it's not under their terms. Now, if you tell a bitch kick rocks, then you might want to give her some money. But if she leaves you and you're like, what, bitch? Do you think Drake's a better man than Russell Wilson? What? Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm that saying. was left field. No, do you think Drake's a better man than Russell Wilson? The I mean, reason I why I say that, you I don't know I, honestly, hold on, hold on. I think Russell Wilson is honestly a great guy. Yeah, I don't, I don't think know Drake him. is though. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know them this personally. Facade. He's very talented, right. and he gets women through that, and people like that. He sings and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, he's a future. He's a he's a sniper. I wouldn't call him a future, but he's definitely not a Russell Wilson. Yeah, he's not. Russell Wilson is in a category of his own. Like I don't know him personally, but from what I do see, like I don't know any perception of them wise. We're just talking perception about perception wise, wise. Yes. No, he is not. They're not the same. Russell Wilson's like a real dad man. Of the fucking year. He's just a like, real man. Period. That's it. Yeah. Drake is still trying to find himself. Yeah. So is Future. Mm, future, mm, future, future just lost. Found no, he's just lost. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't think you, you, think, you, don't you, think, you don't think you don't think Sierra really damaged him because I thought you Future was hold on, hold on. Yeah, I thought Future was different when he was with Sierra. He was giving me in Russell Wilson vibs with Sierra in the beginning, but that could have been a hoax. I started after a while. Mm. I'm like, mm, maybe that was just all game. It was oh, that whole video. His, yeah. You know, you know how we're going. I think. Sierra really got the grease. I think it's Sierra. Sierra got these niggas I mean, acting very different. She had it with she 50 dances? Cent. She had 50, 50 Cent. Sierra used to date 50 Cent. Yeah, she used to date 50 when? Cent. Yeah, she when? dated. Damn, y'all niggas y'all do research. She dated oh, 50 Cent, had 50 can't Cent. Leave him alone. Yeah, she had 50 Cent in pocket. She had future. And Super Pocket, because his album she wasn't all that. She had on his tippy toes. She, she had <laughs> <laughs> taking pictures. <laughs> yeah. it was like, so, so she got <laughs> Russell Wilson in pocket. I think Sierra just got the grease. Yeah, it, I, I, can't I, front, I think it's like I can't that. Front, Sierra, female, Sierra, right. she, she Sierra's really, really that bitch. Yeah. And Future till this day, I think he's affected by Sierra. Her first I just, song was I My think, Goodies. Like, come on. I think Son's that's what it is. She He's definitely lost. damaged. I think it's crazy that like him and Bawa kind of like just be dating. The, like he just yes. takes Bawa after oh, Bawa. Future, yeah, like something about that's just. But, fu- but future, thing. but future's really the goat though. He's <laughs> really the goat. I'm not attracted uh-huh. to him at all. He doesn't do it for me. I can't front. I love future's music. I ain't even gonna lie. I just don't like evil. Like. I don't know. I, I don't know him, so I'm not gonna evil. say he's evil. But I just feel like personality matters to me so much that if you can be the finest thing on earth, if you're evil inside, I cannot fuck with you. You're evil on the outside. You're ugly. That's it. Mm. So man, I appreciate you, Fever D, coming on the show. Thank you. We got La Trap Couture. Um, your IG. Tell us your IG one more time and the website one more time. Uh, my personal IG is Fever underscore D. And um, my Latrap IG is Latrap underscore Couture. And you're coming out with a store, and we should we're gonna have that what in the fall or the winter? Mm, I don't know. Only time could tell. Only time could tell. Is it plus size friendly? <laughs> yes. Because a bitch is like an extra large <laughs> at the base. Nah, Fever Fever D got you, and you, you like know? I said, you're still one of the baddest out here. You're oh, the Carmelo you. Anthony of bad bitches. <laughs> you're still out here putting up forty on these bitches. <laughs> Keep doing your thing. I'm Thank happy you, you came on the podcast. Thanks for having me again. Yeah, already. BNF signing out. Woody season. Signing out. Woody season. Signing out. Woody season.